English Avenue at the Hong Kong Book Fair 2015 typifies the expanding international nature of the region's premier literary event. The imagination, I think, is the power behind civilization, the pushing forward of, of possibility. The fair's dialogue with a famous author featured Booker Prize winner Ben Okri, who won in 1991 for his novel The Famished Road. He explored the writer's journey into the imagination, and later, this his first journey to Hong Kong and the book fair. I've always felt that uh, Hong Kong is a kind of a uh, place of the imagination. I think if you mention the words Hong Kong to people anywhere in the world, they immediately have a picture or a feeling in their mind. It is not a name that doesn't bring with it very powerful visual imaginative connotations. I went up to Victoria Peak yesterday and walked the long circle and I tell you what really struck me is actually looking at, at Hong Kong from that height and it gave rise to a poem. So I wrote my first poem about Hong Kong up there. I think I was quite astounded by the book fair. I've been to some pretty big book fairs uh, and writers festivals in my time, some very, very big ones, but this is the most astonishing that I've been to. Just for, in terms of the sheer numbers of people that I saw, it was a big enough number to fill a whole country. The book fair has also been a venue for launching the work of budding talent like that of Romain Jacques Lagrès, a Paris-born photographer who captured Hong Kong's dramatic vertical perspectives, inspired after five years living in the SAR. Before coming to Hong Kong, I was not into photography. But the city is so rich visually that it makes me want to work on, uh, on photography. And the idea of doing vertical angle came up quite naturally because this city is totally building itself in a vertical way. I think it's a unique place. I've never seen another city which has such a density of skyscraper, really packed one to another. It really offers some perspective which are unique and that cannot be found somewhere else. French talent has been prominent with youth-focused author Timothée de Fombelle addressing imagination and reality and first impressions of the Hong Kong Book Fair. I write about me when I was a child, about my dreams, about my, my life. It can speak to someone very far. My first impression is that the book fair in Hong Kong is very young and very, very huge. When I wrote to my publishing house in Paris, Gallimard, I told them that I was in a book fair eight times bigger than the book fair in Paris. The Hong Kong Book Fair has featured a star-studded cast of authors, with Hong Kong entrepreneur Sir David Tang moderating an open public forum that included Swiss writer Alain de Botton, British historian and writer Simon Seabag Montefiore, and biographer Carol Thatcher, daughter of British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. Hong Kong-based writers were also prominent, and author and lecturer Mark O'Neill presented his latest work on key figures from Guangdong province who helped to change China. Well, the Second Tang Dynasty speaks about these 12 people who come from the same area of southern China. That's, it's now it's Zhongshan, but used to be called Xiangshan, which means Fragrant Mountain. And they were in the late Qing and the early Republican periods. And at that time, China was a closed country. Nobody went abroad. But these 12 all went abroad. They learned many things, and then they came back. So when they came back, they were very precious people. I think Hong Kong is a fantastic place. I like very much the Hong Kong people, their enthusiasm, their humor, their good manners, their openness to the outside world. And I think it's a very special place in China. I think the book fair is one example of this because we have publishers from all over the Chinese world. We have a million people here. You can buy all kinds of books here. And there's nothing comparable in the mainland or in Taiwan. The week-long book fair had more than 580 exhibitors from 30 countries and regions, as well as featuring top-rated Chinese authors and a large choice of literary works, the fair also starred technology in the form of e-books. Then again, one exhibitor came up with a novel way to generate sales. The company claims its books, retailing at just three US dollars, are the smallest in the world, a fine juxtaposition at the region's largest book event. We come from Peru, participating in this prestigious fair because uh, this is one of the most important in the world. And we can make different contacts with uh, clients and 
it's a good opportunity to show our product in this area.